Greetings once again, Sir and Sirettes, and welcome to Plaguing Custom Scenarios yet again with me, Lathrix. We are now in the double digits. It's brilliant. So here we are. I'm going to be playing a random one, which I just kind of wanted to play because I saw it and I wasn't even going to record, but then I saw it and it's got chickens and it looks amazing and chickens. This is by FB, F FP, I'm guessing that's a clan or something, Daphne. Chickens. If you had chickens eh, one second. running through your bloodstream, pecking their way into your system, then this is how it would go. Please ignore the um, weird mic issues then. And then. That's because my dog just uh, tried to attack my face because I'm talking to someone and not her. Now I'm looking at her and she's really looking sad. Okay, continuing. <laughs> okay, so chickens in the blood. I'm going to go with the usual safe options here and continue. Normal. And chickens, of course. Chickens is a deadly thing. Stop it. Now. What have you done? Read in the correct way. Okay, so you infected a human. This isn't a fluke nor a virus. Welcome to the, thir the first bird-based agent to your nightmares. Where did the first Afri- where, the where did the first chicken originate? Wasn't it Africa? The night of chickens. You know, I don't know, but I feel like I should start in Africa because of my feeling. Okay, we're starting with West Africa. Let's have a look what we've got, and again, we've got the new water, thank you for the feedback, we are going to be sticking with this with all new recordings. If you see any recordings which don't have the new water, it's because I recorded it before, yeah. We've got... Skin excretion. Chickens now ooze from the humans via sweating and bleeding. We also have eggs. Chickens lay eggs continually, layering the linings of the bloodstream with them increases severity. Symptoms... Beaconing. Their beaks become a bit sharper and hurt a bit more. A little noticeable. Flaking of skin increases infectivity, increases severity. Itchy pancreas. Itchy pancreas. Yeah. I'm dyslexic. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. Humans start, irrita start having irritations beneath the skin. It's like a whirlwind inside their head. And they can't stop from hearing within. It's an infection that's inside. That is, I don't know. We got, oh, chicken scaling. Chickens grow larger in size significantly, now clog the arteries. Oh, God. And we also have surgical avoidance. Chickens increase movement speeds dramatically, slowing research speed and delaying research deadlines. They continually dodge the four snips to. <laughs> the four snips to. That's funny. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and grab skin excre excretion when we can, which will be now. Yoink. We have natural flight. Chickens can now fly a short distance, increases air and land transmission. We also have. Or, if, or uh, I, I, I can never say this word. Orifice overwhelm. Chickens come out of every orifice, increasing infectivity and slight amount of lethality for when things clog up that badly. I can't see any lethality. Regardless, okay, we'll just leave it like that. I think I think we might get the unnatural fly since that's a, basically the bird one. Hopefully, it doesn't increase mutation. I don't feel like this one's going to be fair with um, symptoms. I've had some mixed reviews about this. Um, two people have played it who I know, and one loved it and one thought it was rubbish, so I will be the one passing verdict here. Chickens now fly between entire states, leaving farms vacant and the, at the most awkward of times, increasing air and land transmissions. How big are the chickens? There must be like micro chickens, but farms are also being affected by it? Oh, maybe all chickens have become micro. That's my theory. Regardless, I'm going to get that one because it sounds amusing to me. Aha! Finally, Natural Flight 3. Chickens now fly pretty damn far for a fat peasant. One second. Hello again, Sir and Sir S. Very sorry for that. That was the phone going, as always. Yeah, I ended up finding a very popular person. Anyway, what are we doing? We're saving up for Natural Flight Level 3. We are currently in West Africa. However, we have spread to Libya and Algerian. Wow, flight really increases land transmission, like more so than the birds do. Also, that seems a bit fast for our infectivity. Yeah. Oh, there we go, level three. Uh, chickens can fly pretty fast. They can now be found at least a continent further than they, than they were last. I wonder if that maybe will actually help continental spread. Probably not, but it'd be nice. Okay, what can we do next? We can, we can get orifice overwhelm, but I think we won't. I think we should start going to symptoms. And I think I'll go into itchy. <laughs> Is that pancreas? I don't even know. And then feathers in the blood. As the chickens move along the human system, it causes further irritations and previous symptom. Their feathers cause subdermal rashing, increases severity. That's fine, I'll get that. Maneuverability. Chickens begin to 
be increasingly agile, able to climb over walls of the human's gut and up the spine. Increases severity. Ooh, I'm out of breath at the moment. <laughs> I had to run downstairs and run back upstairs because of the phone call. It was a bit, um, it was intense on my cardiovascular system. Especially since I live on the third floor of the house and I had to get to the bottom floor before the phone stopped ringing. As you can imagine, not great. Okay, we just got that for free. What's next? The chicken dance. Chicken start up a dance club in the eyes. Disco ball included. Slows research speed by vision impairment. I'll grab that. Uh, chicken personality shift. Chickens begin to change the host's mannerisms and thought patterns to match a chicken's. They begin to subconsciously avoid chicken produce. Wait, they, they... Oh, avoid chicken produce. Okay, food. Forcing slow starvation. I think you could possibly not starve if you didn't just eat that. Let's get the beaking level one anyway. Claws. Their claws come a little bit stronger, allowing them to claw out more nutrients at a time. Increases infective... Uh, sorry, severity. Oh yeah, resistances. Crap. I completely forgot. Okay, let's get cold one, drug one to start off with so it gets a nice roundabout resistance. Completely forgot this is a normal disease type for a second then. <laughs> oh, they're chickens. I'll be fine in the... Oh, damn. Actually, uh, for those who don't know, I actually do have three chickens as pets currently. And they're current, and I've got their um, their lovely hut all warmed up because winter's coming, and it's all and there's all places they can hide to keep warm. It's kind of cute. Anyway, chicken personality shift. Shall we do it? Shall we not? Probably not for now. What's that one again? Uh, delaying research speed. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's just get that. Surgical avoidance, and then eggs one. Sure. X2, egg layering becomes thicker, forcing slower blood flow, increases severity, and slows research speeds. Next. Blood starts becoming saturated of eggs, massively lowering heart rate. Sometimes they will stop for good. Increases severity and lethality. I think I'll leave that though for now, because that's just pure death. We do need to get to Greenland as always. So it's oh, we've, got, we've already got cold level two, so that's fine. I think for now it'd be best just to leave it. We are getting a lot of DNA per red bubble because of our high severity. So we really don't need any more. We're we'll just set for DNA now. Chicken personality shift was mutated for free, however. Do I want that to still be there? Uh, slights of... Yeah, because of lethality, I just don't want to be killing people. That's the ultimate border show. So for now, we leave it as it is. I just hope someone sends a vote to our lovely friends in Greenland. And if they don't, they will die. Well, actually, they won't. That's the problem. Oh, come on. Be affected faster, Russia. Come now. Just... Okay, let's do Orifice Overwhelm, just because it increases... um. Infectivity. He's actually killing people despite having no actual thing there. Oh no, I thought I was going to the right place, but then just skipped it completely. And we're being cured a bit fast. Let's get genetic hardening one and two and a single reshuffle. That'll slow him down. Yes! I mean, yes, good. <laughs> Victory. Um, I feel like I want to get the ultimate thing there because this is really slow. Okay, what else can we get here? Okay, slows down. No, it doesn't start anything. Let's see what's next. Forced chicken arm motion. Humans begin to flap their arms and those stems into fly, but falling. Failing, rather. Increases lethality <laughs> and infectiousness from hilarious accidents. Uh, dietary shift. Humans begin to peck at whatever's on the ground. Boost severity, lethality. Insects become a favourite. Good. Uh, do I want to get that? It does increase infectivity, but lethality as well. Chicken mentality shift. Humans are infected and immediately think and act like chickens. Nobody's laughing. And all that is heard are scraping and Im impressionists. Chickens can't laugh. <laughs> okay, uh, that's also lethality, isn't it? So we'll leave it as it is for now. Already queuing this a bit too fast, but I don't want to get too lethal just so we can. Oh, okay, we just got the full one anyway. Uh, for free again, so I'm going to leave it. Just don't really want more lethality just yet because I'll slow we're infecting places and I don't want to kill the few who are bloody infected. Kind of think that maybe environmental hardening might be a good thing. So the only thing I'll think of buying, which will help us right now. Shame we're not getting DNA per kill. I might actually consider rising lethality, although I am really nervous about places. Oh, we are getting DNA per kill, so never mind, we can do it. So heat, heat, and environmental cost 40, so we can save up for that. Just to speed up the last little bit, because these things be taking a very long time. But I don't think I'm ever going to make it now, actually, because... Yeah, not getting DNA again. We're, so we're going to have to increase lethality. With chicken scaling, chickens grow larger in size significantly. And now clog the archers. Next is detachment. Chickens are now able to leave the the host's corpse. Oh, I should have done that earlier. That's going to be freaking necrosis. 
Ah, oh, damn you. 26 it costs. And anything I can devolve, which I don't really care about. Actually, these two. These two are rubbish. Um, I need a bit more. Oh, we can devolve some of the starter ones. That's good. There we go. Boom. New abilities. Is it actually... No, I can't see any new abilities. Over my mentality, they they hunt in packs. But I'm hoping that's going to work like Necrosis. Let's have a quick view. Uh, not sure if it is or not. Don't think it actually is. So where is the new options? Oh, I bet they're in here. You know, the ones that have devolved. That's going to cost so much to check, though. Okay. New ability options. We are in abilities. I'm guessing... Maybe it just means these. Could just mean those. That could be the case. Might actually want that. I mean, as much as I don't want to kill them too fast, picking Greenland and Iceland. Okay, just Greenland then. I do need more DNA, and I'm not getting any DNA anymore. So perhaps a bit more lethality. Also, of course, more people dead. Less funding towards cure. Always nice. There we go. There's no healthy people left in the world, so we can actually go ahead and devolve all transmissions and get a nice big lump of DNA. Lovely 2 DNA age. Beautiful. There we go. I uh, kind of want to see what the eggs came. Eggs level 3, what's that? Ex EXPLOSION! The victim falls, fills to the brim with eggs and erupts. Eggs fly all around far and wide along with chickens. Very lethal and infectious. That's amazing. I could actually devolve some of these in for that. Just because of the lethality. Because we don't need any more transmission or severity. So we can actually go ahead and get rid of those. Oh, am I not one off? Ah, I'm one off. Um, let's devolve the first level eggs. BOOM! EXPLOSION! So everyone's thinking like chickens while exploding. Kind of thought that the thinking like chickens might be a um, a win condition, but apparently it's not. That's a shame. What else have we got here then? Uh, there's just stuff here we can check, I guess, where we wanted to. Once again, we don't really need resistances anymore because, well, we've infected everywhere, so we can go ahead and get rid of those. That costs 27. Any more things I can devolve? Uh, devolve level 2 eggs. I like how I've just got all the best ones and I'm leaving all the others. Uh, is that worth it? Yeah, I guess. Ah, oh, one more. So I devolve. No, that's too much lethality lost. Oh, damn. Well, I am going to win soon, so I can actually just get, get rid of genetic hardening to get over mine mentality. Wow. Bacar understanding. Chickens can now group and drive vehicles. I get it, Bacar. Bacar? While it is taken as comedy, there are now chickens driving into people with cement trucks. <laughs> Increases land transmission. <laughs> Along with a lot of lethality is would be understandable. Almost. How much does it actually cost? Why too much? We're never getting it. Um, that doesn't give us any lethality, does it? Nope. Okay. So we're just having to wait now for the last few people to be pecked to death or explode into explosions of eggs and chickens. As chickens hit the wall, make blood splatters, eggs hit next to make little yolk splatters. And only in the way get get a chicken up their nose. Becomes a new slave to the new world order of chickens. Egypt, are you still trying to cure us, seriously? How you how do you even have money at this stage? When you have less than one one eightieth of your original population. So, in every eighty one people, eighty of those people are dead. And you somehow have an economy. That doesn't make any sense, game! That's not how this works. It's not any of this works. Tiny increase in lethality, take that. And that once again came back. Okay, only three million people left in the world. I'm fairly certain the cure effort is dead. No, they are still funding somehow because Egypt is apparently amazing. So two places you want to go in case of a pandemic. Egypt and Greenland because Egypt will keep will keep trying to help you and Greenland will be the last place to be infected if it ever gets infected today we've learned something so and so it's also I'm kind, of, kind of eyeing my chickens evilly right now I can just start to see them if you look outside the window victory chickens have successfully eliminated all life on earth ta-da two stars um time to do criticisms I give it beaks out of five and a half so three and a half beaks out of five I enjoyed it I really did it's a bit confusing and it's I don't know it's a bit lackluster but I did actually enjoy it quite a lot I'm definitely writing it up and I certainly think it's worth a quick go if you have the time 
So thank you for watching as always, Sir and Threats. If you could give me a like, that would be amazing. It takes a moment of your time and it fills my day with happiness. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe if you want to see more. And of course, comment. How do you feel about the series? How do you feel about this particular scenario? How do you feel about me? Have a nice day, a nice week, a nice month, a nice year, and possibly even a nice century, Sir and Threats. And thank you for watching.